we are talking about equations of circles and we want to be able to write the equation of circle from given information. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure we have the equation of a circle. So we have the radius squared is going to be equal to two quantities squared and added together. And the sign in the middle is of those quantities always going to be subtraction. Then we're going to have H, K, which is going to be our center point, will be the second portion of those that binomial. And then we're going to have a given X point and a given Y point from, that's a point on the circle. So right here, uh, we want to write that, uh, write the equation of that circle. And the only thing that's missing, we have five variables, and the only thing that's missing is the radius. So we can fill in all those values and then use that to calculate our radius. So we're going to have, we're going to write down, we don't know what r is, so we're going to say r squared, we don't know. That is going to be equal to, and these are the things that never change, our x and y is just a point on the circle, so our x comes first, so negative 2, and our y comes second, and we always have subtraction. Next, we can substitute our center point, which is going to be 0 for the x and 2 for the y, and then we can start to solve to figure out what this value is going to be for r squared. So r squared is going to be equal to negative 2 minus 0 is going to be negative 2 quantity squared. And then we're going to add that to 4 minus 2 is also 2. So then we can get r squared is equal to negative 2 squared is 4 and 2 squared is 4 so then we can get r squared is equal to 8 and then in order to solve this we have to take the square root of both sides so then we get, and we're just going to leave this as r is equal to the square root of 8. So now we have all the values, and now we can write down our equation. And we have the things that never change. Parentheses squared plus parentheses squared is equal to uh, r squared. So in this case, we calculated r was the square root of 8. We know that uh, x and y are going to be the first, the first part of each binomial with the minus sign included. The x value of our center point is 0, and the y value of our center point is 2. So now we can say x minus 0 squared. Well, x minus 0 is just x. So that's going to be x squared plus y minus 2 quantity squared. Now, the square root of 8 squared is just 8. So this is the equation for this circle. Uh, next uh, we can do the same thing. We have the point on the circle, which is 7, negative 3, and we have the center point, which is 0, 3. Uh, so we can do the same thing that we just did. We don't know what the radius is, so we have to calculate that. So we're going to say r squared is equal to 
and the things that never change. We have two binomials squared and added together. We have the minus sign in the middle. And then we have our X and our Y from the point on the circle. And then we have our H and our K. And then we can start to solve for R squared. So R squared is equal to 7 minus 3 is going to be 4 plus negative 3 minus 0 is negative 3, so it's going to be negative 3 squared. So then we can get R squared is equal to 16 plus 9. So R squared is equal to 25. And then to solve that, we take the square root of both sides. So then we get R is equal to 5. So now we have all the values that we need, and we're going to rewrite the equation again. So we have, we're going to have R squared, which is equal to two binomials squared and added together. And the sign in the middle is always minus. And we always have an X and Y first. So we calculated R, R was 5, and then our center point for the X is 3, and our center value for the Y is 0. So we can write out our equation. 5 squared is 25, is equal to X minus 3 quantity squared plus y minus 0 is just y, y squared. So then that's the equation for that circle. Then we have one more example to look at where we have the point is 8, 6 is on the circle, and that has a center point of negative 12, 6. So we can do that the same way that we, we've been doing because we don't have the radius. So we have R squared, the things that never change, are going to be equal to two binomials squared and added together. And that sign in the middle of the binomial is always minus. Then we have our X and Y, so for the point on the circle. So 8 and 6. And then we have negative 12 for our H. And we have uh, 6 for our K. So when we go ahead and uh, start solve for R squared, we get squared is equal to 8 minus a negative 12 is actually plus, so 8 plus 12 is 20 squared. And 6 minus 6 is 0, so we don't have to do anything with that. Uh, so we can square root both sides. The square cancels the square, and the square cancels the square, and we're left with r is equal to 20. Now we can write the equation for that circle. So we have the things that never change. We have R squared is equal to two binomials squared and added together. And that operation in the middle of the binomial is always minus.
Then we have our X and Y. Those are always the first value in the binomial. Then we have our radius squared is 20. X minus a negative 12. And Y minus 6. So then we can rewrite that equation. 20 squared is 400. Is equal to negative negative means plus. So that's going to be X plus 12. Quantity squared plus y minus 6 quantity squared. So that is the equation for that circle. We have two more. This time we're giving endpoints of a diameter. So uh, in this case, we have to. Uh, use those two endpoints to calculate the midpoint. And we also need to use those to find the uh, radius. So the midpoint equation is going to be uh, the things that never change for the midpoint. We're going to have two things added together and divided by two. We're going to have two things added together and divided by two. And those are the endpoints. So our x values in this case are negative 12 and 2. And our y values are 6 and 2. So this is going to give us our midpoint or center point. Uh, negative 12 plus 2 is going to be negative 10 over 2. And 6 plus 2 is 8. So that's going to be 8 over 2. And this is our center point. Negative 2 divided, or negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. So that is our center point. Uh, next, we can use our center point and one of the points on the circle, and that can help us calculate our radius. So radius squared is equal to two binomials squared and added together with minus signs in the middle. And the value that I'm going to use for the point on the circle is going to be 2, 2. So I'm going to plug that in 2 for x and 2 for y. And our h is negative 5. And our k is 4. So we can solve for r squared. So we get r squared is equal to 2 minus a negative 5 is actually we're adding that together and so we get 7 quantity squared plus 2 minus 4 is negative 2 quantity squared and so we get r squared is equal to 49 plus 4 So R squared is equal to 53. And in order to solve 
for r, we have to square root both sides. And so we get our radius is equal to the square root of 53. So we have to write our equation for the circle. And we have to write a little bit smaller. So we get our two binomials squared and added together. Now, radius squared, radius squared is 53. The square root of 53 squared is just 53. So that's, we're going to write in just 53 there. And our center point is negative 5. So remember, if we're substituting a negative, it becomes positive. And minus 4. So that's going to be the equation for this circle. In our last one we have, we have the center point and we have the circumference. So the first thing we have to do is solve the circumference for radius. And the equation for circumference is equal to 2 pi times r. So our circumference is 12 pi. So we can substitute that in. So we get 12 pi is equal to 2 pi r. Now, because this is all multiplication, we can divide both sides by 2 pi to get r by itself. So the pi cancels the pi, 2 cancels the 2. The pi cancels the pi, 12 divided by 2 is 6. So in this case, 6 is equal to the radius. So now we have the center point in the radius, so we can fill out our equation. Remember, we always have radius squared is equal to the two binomials squared and added together. And the sign in the middle is always negative. So then we have our x and y, and then we have our radius squared, which in this case our radius is 6. Our center point for the x value is 8, and for the y value is negative 1. So now we can rewrite the equation, and we get... 6 squared is 36 is equal to, we don't have to change anything with that binomial, we can leave it as x minus 8 quantity squared plus y minus a negative 1 is actually addition. So that's going to be y plus 1 quantity squared. And then that is the equation for this circle.